Do you know what time it is? It's tab time. Come on inside the room. Open your heart and mind. You never know what you find when you let a little love inside. Hey. Hello, friends of mine. Come on in, it's tab time. <laughs> All right. Well, hello there. I'm Miss Tab, and welcome to my garden. <laughs> Flying bird seeds. What is going on? Come on, get in there. Holy guacamole, Miss Tab. Did I get you? I didn't mean to. It's all right, Avi. Okay, I'm fine. This is Avi the avocado. He's one of my best friends. Sorry, I was just trying to fill the bird feeder in that tree behind you, but it's too hard for me to reach. So I guess the birds will have to find somewhere else to eat. Well, you know, Avi, I can always move you close if you like. <laughs> Whoa! All right, there you are. And you know it's really important to continue to feed the birds once you start, because they'll be looking for you. Oh, does that make them my pets? Well, no. You see, these birds are wild, so they're more like our friends. Whoa! If they were your pets, you would have an extra special responsibility to take care of them. What's a responsibility? Well, a responsibility is like a job that you do every day. Kind of like taking a dog for a walk. I guess it would be kind of hard to walk a bird. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I think it's best that we let these birds fly free. Whoa! Can I tell you something that's been on my mind? I can. Very good. You know, I've been thinking a lot about pets and why we have them. You know, some of them make the perfect play partners and they even cuddle with us. Some of them cheer us up when we're sad and some of them become just like part of our family. But that makes me wonder, how do we know which animals are pets and which are not? You hear that? That's our friend Breezy the wind chime. I think we should go say hello. All right, Avia. <gasps> Oh, Whoa. I will see you later. <laughs> Catch you next time, Miss Tab. <laughs> All right. Shake my pit, shake my pit. Well, hello there, Breezy. You sure have a beautiful chime. What's that, Breezy? It's time to go on a special adventure to find out more about pets. Would you like to go with me? You would? Very good. Now, we go there by using our imagination. Do you know what imagination is? Well, it's where we pretend with our minds and our hearts. We can go anywhere and we can create anything. Now, the first thing we'll create are our imagination shoes, and then we'll wear them on our special adventure, okay? All right, Breezy, I'll see you later. Are you ready? Let's go. <laughs> Look, we're in our magic playroom. Let's fill it with our imagination. Let's move our bodies so that we wake up our minds. What do our imaginations have for us this time? Let's find out. Imagination is my imagination. Look where our imagination took us today. We're on a blind unicorn named Corny. <laughs> Whee! Whoa! I'm okay. Hello there, Lenny. This is one of my best friends, Lenny the Lightning Bug. Lenny, meet my new friend, Corny. Hello, Lenny. Hey, Miss Tab. Hi, Corny. Quinks. How do I get mine sparkly? Just put a little magic on them. I love it! Wait, I need a horn! We're like twins! You are! <laughs> now let's find some animals that might make good pets. Look, Miss Tab! Fuzzy crayons! Those are wolves. Wolves? Let's give them a warm hug. Actually, let's give them some space. Wolves are beautiful, but they don't make very good pets. 
They're wild, which means they need lots of space to roam and run free with their pack. What's a pack? A pack is a group of wolves who are all friends. Whoa! Whoa a Yeti! <laughs> it's a St. Bernard dog. A St. Bernard dog! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you for rescuing me, Bernard. Oh, that's a good boy, Bernard. Oh, Bernard. That dog helped dig that hiker out of the snow. Twice! Dogs make great pets, and they can even help us get out of trouble. Incredible! No wonder they call dogs a lightning bug's best friend after batteries. Uh, can we keep exploring? My horn is starting to freeze. Look where we are, Miss Tab. Inside someone's hair. A jungle, Lenny. A jungle! Wow, a tiger. Tigers are a very special type of big cat, but they don't make very good pets. They're also wild animals and are in danger. What does endangered mean? It means there aren't very many of them, so we have to keep them protected. Miss Tab, can we keep exploring? There are a lot of mosquitoes in the jungle, and when I get a mosquito bite, my light does a thing. <laughs> That's the thing! Corny, let's get Lenny out of here. Now, that type of cat makes a much better pet than a tiger. It's small enough to live indoors. And probably eats much less fish. Speaking of fish, it's time to set sail for the sea. Miss Tab, look! Water chickens! <laughs> Those are dolphins, Lenny. Dolphins! Dolphins are smart and beautiful, but they don't make great pets. They need to live in the ocean with lots of space to swim, play, and talk with their dolphin friends. So he says to Madri, he says if you take the coupons of the cashier, you'll be able to get a full discount. But it's self-checkout. You'll, you'll never, never get, get the, the discount. discount. I had no idea that dolphins love a deal. <laughs> hey, that's my dog, Blackie. He's a good dog and makes me very happy. So I invited him to be a part of my family. You know, that makes me wonder. When we invite an animal to become our pet, how do we take care of it so it can stay healthy and happy? What's that, Breezy? It's time to visit Miss Tab's lab? Well, that's a great place to answer our question. All right, Blackie, you go and play, and I'll see you later, OK? <laughs> Goodbye, Lenny. Goodbye, Corny. Goodbye, Goodbye Miss, Miss Tab. Tab! Goodbye, Lenny! <laughs> Well, hello there. I'm Miss Tab, and welcome to my lab. Hello, I am Ranger Rory Wars a bunch. <laughs> well, very nice to meet you, Ranger Rory. Can I ask you why you're wiggling? Well, I'm wagging my tail, because like a dog, when I'm happy, I wag my tail. But you don't have a tail. Right, which probably makes this look a little silly. <laughs> Anything you want to know about pets or animals, ask away, because I'm your ranger. Oh, well, very good. I do have a question. What is a ranger? A ranger is someone who protects forests and parks and the animals who live there. Today, we'll explore how to keep pets and animals healthy and happy in a game called... Let's Get Pets I love games. Do you love games? You do? Would you like to play along with us? You would? Very good. Okay, how do we play? Well, I'm gonna show you different animals and all you have to do is guess the best way to take care of them. Ready for round one? We're ready. Pet-tastic! <laughs> Our first animal is a guinea pig! Oh my goodness, can I pet it? You can, right behind the ears. They love that. <laughs> oh, it's so nice and soft. The question is, what do we feed a guinea pig to make it feel happy and strong? Fresh veggies, mm -hmm. a chef's hat, or a plate of mom's spaghetti? Hmm, a chef's hat, that's not food, so can't eat that. Fresh veggies, maybe. Mom's spaghetti is something that I would really like to eat, but I'm not quite sure that it's okay for a guinea pig to eat. What do you think? Fresh veggies? Okay. We're gonna say 
fresh veggies. That's correct. A guinea pig <laughs> loves fresh veggies to stay happy and strong, which means this pet is set. Just like your grown-ups wouldn't feed you cat or dog food, as someone who takes care of a pet, you need to know what that pet wants to eat to make sure they feel happy and healthy. Oh, well, that makes a lot of sense. Are you ready for round two? I'm ready. Let's do it. Petacular. Now our second pet is a lizard. Ooh, ooh, well, hello there, lizard. He doesn't talk much. Oh, why is that? A frog in his throat. Anywho, some lizards live in the wild, and some can be pets in your home. But the question is, where should a lizard live inside your home? Oh. In the refrigerator, in the bed, in a terrarium with a heat lamp. Well, the lizard is super cute. So I'm gonna say in the bed. Uh. Sorry, but that's incorrect. The lizard may appear cuddly and up to sleep in the bed. There's a danger, though, you could roll over on him. Oh, and that would be very bad. Okay. Well, I will say the refrigerator, because there's a lot of food in there. Not right, unfortunately. Lizards are something called cold-blooded, which means their blood changes to the temperature of where they are. So if the lizard lives in the refrigerator, it would be very cold and very unhappy. Okay. So the correct answer is the terrarium with the heat lamp. If that's one thing that lizards love, it's being warm and toasty. I mean, well, who doesn't love being warm and toasty? <laughs> now it's time for the final round. Get this, one correct, and you win the game. All right, well, are you ready? Because I'm ready. Okay, let's do it. Pat extraordinary. Now, all dogs need exercise to feel happy and healthy. But the question is, what kind of exercise should a dog do? Ride a bicycle, go for a walk, or paint an abstract picture of me? <laughs> well, I really do like to ride bicycles, and I like to paint. But I don't think a pet would like that very much. But I do know if I took a dog for a walk, it would make him feel happy and healthy. So. I think we all know what the answer is, don't we? Yeah. We're gonna say, going for a walk. That's correct. This is Congratulations, Miss Tad, you won! <laughs> Let's get that You know what, that makes me feel like wagon, because does that mean I'm happy? <laughs> Thank you so much, Ranger Roy, for coming today and teaching us all about pets. <laughs> oh, that's breezy. I'm going to help Ranger Roy clean up, and after that, I'll see you at craft time. <laughs> Miss Taya, can you tell me your names and how old you are? I'm Charlie and I'm seven. Nice to meet you, Charlie. I'm Michael and I'm six. Nice to meet you, Michael. Do either of you have pets? Yeah. You do? I have snakes. Oh. Fish. Yes. I have cats and I have chickens. Do you live on a farm? No. Do you live at the zoo? No. You don't and you have all those pets? And what about you? What pets do you have? I have a dog. What's the dog's name? Neo. Neo. What do we love about Neo? I love helping taking him on walks. Oh, then you know I have a dog too, and I love to take him on walks as uh -huh. well. I think he might like the walks more than Miss Tab like him. Do we love to take care of our pets? Yeah. All right, the other thing we've been talking about today is what animals are pets and which ones are not. Like a zebra or a lion, those are not our pets, right? Yeah. Those are wild animals. I think I have somebody who's gonna help us make a craft that's all about pets. Would you like to meet them? Yes. yes. DJ Crafty! Oh. Hey, hey DJ Crafty. Crafty. Hey, Michael. Hey, Charlie. I am so excited for you to meet my new pet, Sticky. Hi, Sticky. He's very cute. I like how blue you are. Well, very nice to meet you, Sticky, especially today because we've been talking about pets and how to take care of them. DJ Crafty, do you have a craft that can help us with that? You better believe it. <laughs> Today, we're making paper bag pet puppets. Oh, well, that is a great craft because not everybody can have a pet. And now we can make one of our own. That's right. So to make these, here's what we'll need. Some paper lunch bags, construction paper, markers or crayons, scissors, and glue. I'm going to make a bingo cat. 
Do you know what a bingo cat is? No. So you know how a leopard has all the uh, spots on it? Oh, but, yeah. But that's a wild animal, right? And so we can't have that as a pet. But a bingo cat also has spots on it, but we can actually have that as a pet. Well, Charlie, what kind of dog do you have? An Akita. He's so big and he's only two years old. Is he as big as Miss Taya? Maybe if he jumps over you, yeah. Oh, my goodness. What about you, Michael? Axolotl. Can I ask you what that is? It's a salamander, except it's pink and has gills up here. Really? I don't know what they look like, but as long as you know what they look like, you can make that if you want to, okay? Very good. So, we're gonna make them into pet puppets. Love that. So that we can make them do things like so, like that. Is that gonna be all right? Yes. So we have our bags, whichever color that you like. Which eyes am I gonna use? But you can it's draw or you can cut them out, whatever you like. Mm. I'm gonna make a little space here for my cat, my Kay. bingo cat. What do we have going on there? I'm oh, dying. look at those eyes. That's amazing. Has anybody seen Sticky? Oh. Sticky got off his leash. Where is he? Oh, no. Uh, has anybody seen him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness, Sticky. Hey, DJ Craft Dad, I think I found him. Sorry, Miss Tab. He gets really attached to people. That is quite all right, DJ Crafty. Okay, so next we're going to glue on all of our things. Okay. And I have two Ooh. floppy ears. Kind Amazing. of like a bunny dog. That's a little thing of that on his tail. Oh, that's his tail? You're so creative with it. Miss Tab, guess what my favorite type of dog is? A boxer. His name is Rocky Bow Wow. Well, hello there, Rocky Bow Wow. Nice to meet you. All right, I think that we're almost finished. Can you show me your pet puppet? Yes. Yeah. I oh. made a dog, but upside down. An upside down dog. I love it. A pink upside down dog. You did an yes. amazing job. And let me see. Turn the axolotl around, Michael, so we can see. <gasps> that is the most beautiful axolotl I've ever seen. Look at Look me, Crafty. <laughs> wow, that's pet amazing work. <laughs> Thank you for crafting with us today, DJ Crafty. And you too, Sticky. And hey, be nice to Rocky. You two have to stick together, okay? Pet or believe it. <laughs> Bye, DJ Crafty. Bye, little Sticky. Peace, Michael. Peace out, Charlie. D -d 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 DJ Crafty, you're welcome. Oh, that's breezy. After I clean up, I'll see you at snack time. <laughs> it's snack time. Don't forget to wash your hands. It's snack time, it's snack time. Let's make something tasty for snack time. It's snack time. Everybody, it's snack time. Come, Come on. on. Well, hello there, Bernie and Starla. Hi, Hi Miss Tab. Tab. So what is shaking with the shakers? Oh, they're our pets. This is Sal the Salt. And this is... Ooh, let me guess. Pep the Pepper. Nope. Gina. Oh, well, very nice to meet you, Gina and Sal. We're trading our pets. Wanna see? Of course. Sal, stand there and do nothing in a very safe way. Look, he did it. Good boy, Sal. <laughs> you know, I'm so happy that both of you have pets because that's what we've been talking about today. I've been thinking about how we invite pets into our home and make them like part of our family. So I have the perfect snack for us today. We're going to make possum pet pads on a plate. Hmm, sounds fluffy. I don't need a <laughs> lint roller. Let's get into it! <laughs> okay, we have some sliced grapes, pretzel sticks, some dried cranberries, raisins, blueberries, and then we have half grapes there. Yummy! Okay, and then we also have some strawberries, pretzels in a square, coconut shavings, more strawberries, and kiwi. Let's do it. And we're making pets, so we're gonna do a dog and a cat. So first thing is we're gonna take a cracker. All right, we'll get a little bit of our almond butter. We're gonna spread it on there. Now, we're making a dog first, so we need a dog ears, so like that, okay? Then we're gonna top it off. Make sure your ears are hanging out enough. Yummy! We need eyes right there with your grape. We gotta make sure you can see. Put a little bit more almond butter right there. Some more almond butter. 
It's holding everything together like glue. This is the glue you can eat. Wow. <laughs> now we need to put a tongue using the sliced strawberry, because you know how dogs go <laughs> like that sometimes, or <laughs> mm -hmm. let's put our snout on with one of our sliced grapes, and then nostrils to breathe out of. So put a little bit more almond butter on a cranberry right on top. And look at that dog. That's when we'll use our coconut shavings. Look at that hair. There we go, so we have our dog. Don't let him bite you, all right? <laughs> okay, so next up, we gotta make our cat. Get you a cracker again. Go ahead and put our almond butter. So we're gonna use kiwi to make sure they stand up, okay? Get you another cracker, put it on top. Look at those cat ears. I'm getting hungry. Using blueberries. Uh. Put that on there. Another one. Uh. Now remember, we're making a cat. So what does the cat need? Did you say whiskers? You got it. All right, let's get us a little bit of almond butter. And we're gonna take the pretzel sticks that we have. We're gonna make our whiskers, okay? Sal and I like to hang out on the couch and watch our favorite show, The Glove Boat. Ah. Okay, here we go. Here's a dog. Ooh. Um, Starla, um, here um. is the cat. Here you go. Mmm, that was doggone delicious. <laughs> Oh, do you hear that? That's breezy. She says it's story time. All right, Bernie and Starla, I'll see you later. Bye, Bye Ms. Tab. <laughs> okay. Well, now it's time to tell the story of our day. But first, I need to find my friend Lovey. You remember her, right? She looks like a glowing heart. Would you help me find her? You would? Thank you. Okay. Well, do you see her anywhere? She is under this table. <laughs> well, you're right. Hello there, lovey. Would you like to join us for story time? <laughs> you know, the wonderful thing about lovey is that she always knows how I'm feeling. As my feelings change, lovey's colors change too. Like right now, I'm feeling happy to be here with you at story time. So lovey is green for happiness. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so today in the garden, Ivy and I got curious about all the different types of animals there are and what makes an animal a pet. And you see, Lovey is orange for curiosity. And then we went on a special adventure and met all kinds of animals. Some of them made great pets, but some of them were much happier living in the wild. Later in the lab, we met Ranger Rory Roars a bunch and we played a game that showed us all about how we can take care of pets. I even got a little bit frustrated when I kept guessing wrong about how to take care of the lizard. And you see, Lovey is red for frustration. But I still learned so much today, like how it's always our responsibility to take care of the pets that live at home with us. And sometimes we can even take care of the animals that live outside and that are just visiting. <laughs> when we help keep animals healthy and happy, it brings them love and joy, just like family and friends. Blackie, you remember him from Special Adventures, don't you? Of course you do. He loves when I pet him, and I love it too. It makes us both feel happy and relaxed. You see that? That's why Lovey is green, for happiness. <laughs> How do you feel when you think about pets? Well, however you feel is the right way to feel, because those are your feelings, and they matter. You know, sometimes you can even feel all different feelings at once, and that's okay too. That's right, Lovey. <laughs> oh, that's Breezy. She's saying it's time to say goodbye. Thank you for this time today. The friends we made, the food we ate, the stories and imagining. So glad we had this time with you today. I've had the best time with you all today. You are amazing. So amazing that I think you should give yourself a big old hug. I'll give Blackie one too. <laughs> Doesn't that feel good? So glad we had this time with you today. <laughs> well, I 
think that Blackie is ready to go out in the garden and play with Ivy. And I'm gonna tell Ivy all about our special adventures. And you can tell your family and friends at home too. And I want you to have a good day today. But even if you can't have a good one, don't you dare go messing up nobody else's, all right? I love you and I'll see you soon. All right, Blackie, let's go. Ha, ha, ha.